Welcome to the new Humble Abode. My name's Johnny Wex and I'm going to teach you exactly how to navigate around your bunker. Plus some top tips for the new wipe right now. Well, let's get straight into it. Before we go around and actually look in all the uh, the areas and stuff, you might be wondering, hey, Johnny, it's a little bit dark in here. You can't see sh Well, they've actually added more of a Tarkov feel to the bunker now, which means you've got a generator and fuel and, uh, and other stuff like that. So some of the items in the game will be a bit more required. So you're not just going to pick up a water filter and be like, what am I going to do with that? I'll just sell it for a couple of bucks. You can use them now. So first thing you do when you enter your new bunker is you want to go straight to the store storage in here. Hit it open with your face, it doesn't matter. Here you'll see a fuel can. You want to take this fuel can, you want to go up your new little stairs right here. Don't, don't spill the fuel all over the place, right? Because you light a match, the old place goes up and there I haven't found an exit yet, so. <laughs> you go right here to power. Bash open this door. This is your generator room. This is where you're going to get all the power for your bunker, right here. You want to go over to this little generator right here. You can see it's got a little fill gauge. Take the little cap off. Take the little cap off of your fuel can right here and just start tipping in. Sounds like me first thing in the morning. You see the bar going down there? If you look right there, the bar's going up. This can actually fit quite a bit by the looks of it. I'm, I'm going to say like four fuel cans to fill this puppy up. It's all right for now. Just put that cap back on like that and then press this little red button here. Boom! It fires up like a chainsaw and all of these lights have now come on. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. A lot better. Now you can see Johnny Wicks' bunker in all its element. Jump over here. You don't have to go all the way down the stairs like an idiot. All right, you can jump. You know parkour. Put the fuel thing back here. Let's start having a little look around here. Listen to that. You can hear the Jenny from downstairs. Atmospheric, bruv. You got some heels right here in the storage. You want to come over here. The med block locked at the moment. Got some knives sticking out of target here. You know Johnny Wicks is good with his blades. Come in here. You got the kitchen. Another new room right here. Look at this. Oh, this looks absolutely glorious. You got a bunch of food items on the storage cases right here. Good thing they've added with the water now is you can drink water just like this, just like you normally can. You know, like Johnny Wicks, everyone knows you can drink water. You come over here. You can now fill up water bottles from the tap. But you're probably wondering, hey, am I just a little weakling or can I not turn this tap? That's because you need a water filter now, guys. So let's go back over to our little storage unit here. Grab this. This is the water filter. <laughs> Keep hearing my generator going mental. You want to come down here, just put the water filter here like that. And now the tap's running. Make sure you turn it off, though. Don't waste water, guys. The bills are extortionate at the moment. Now you can refill your water bottles at the sink, just like that. Boom. You'll never go thirsty again now, guys, unless you run out of filters or, or whatnot. Anyway, over here, let's go this way. Right over here, we got the new trade room. Open this up. Boom. Here we go. They've given us a nice giant golden spoon. I'm not sure what you're going to eat with that, to be honest. That's pretty f***ing huge. Storage units here. we got vests there. This is the new conveyor belt system right here. you got that. Oh. I knew I had that, guys. I'll just put it on my persons. Uh, come round here. This is, look at this. Look at these walls. Proper feels like a bunker. I can almost feel the dampness and the coldness and the smell of an old person's attic in here. Here we've got the um, the market exit. Um, it's locked. I'm not sure why. We'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> here we've got a dark little corner where I like to sometimes curl up in a little ball and cry myself to sleep. Let's go this way. Right back out here to your immediate right, you've got the armory. Armory rooms have been jam-packed full of your favourite weapons. If you've got a nice DLC like me, of course. Um, loads of weapons here. While we're here, let's take a look at the new mag parman. As you can see, when you pick up magazines now, you pick them up from the absolute bottom of the mag. Obviously, you know how to pick up magazines. You pick it up with the trigger. If you put your hand over the other magazine and use the grip button, you can grab it. Grab it with the grip, just like that. Pull it out, slam in a new magazine. Look how awesome that looks. Pull it out, in. Pull it out, in. Practice that before you go into raid. I don't want to see you fumbling with your mags in a heated situation, guys. To your immediate right, you've got some more storage in here for more weapons. Look at all of this right here. I'm not sure why they've given me so many knives, to be honest. They must know I'm good with blades. More storage here. You've got more storage over there. Ammo loading areas right here, like, like normal, you know. You've got some backpack things here. I've noticed there's not many backpack holders, actually, in this now. Come out back into the sexy little room where you've got your, your computer and 
and stuff. Go upstairs. Go past the power room. As you can hear in there, you can still hear the, the generator kicking off. <laughs> you come over here to the range. Top floor range right here. Beautiful. The graphics in this place are absolutely amazing there, guys. Look at this. You can reset this if you actually hit anything, which I don't ever need to press that button, to be honest. You've got a little moving target back there as well for you guys that can only shoot things that are standing still. Bit of a challenge for you. Come out here. Uh, you've got the radio room there locked. You come along to the last one right here, which is the vault and the bed. Now, this is a, one of the main rooms, guys. Look at this. Looks like something out of a James Bond villain bunker right here. This is where all your money's kept. Your money now is actually in physical form. Look at this. You can actually pick money up. You can go into raids, give money to people, you know, maybe bribe them for whatever they've got. The more money you've got, the more of these shelves, obviously, that stack up. Now, you're probably wondering, like I did, when you start picking up money from this bag and the vault balance goes down. You put it back on there, it's still like that. You're like, oh, sh I just lost 10 grand, but it's right there. What you have to do, guys, is you have to just come over here to the money deposit, and you just shove that money in. It goes back into the balance and it stocks up the shelves for you. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to change that, but at the moment, don't physically put the money back in there. You've got to put it back in there and it auto sorts it for you. That bag's from a robbery I did recently. Over here, the Never Wipe Room. Probably, at, yeah, they haven't even spelt that right. The Never Wipe Room. If you haven't heard of this room, guys, this is a room that no matter how many wipes happen, the stuff that you store in there... Except for that backpack. Stuff that you store in there is safe over wipes and wipes and wipes. Your immediate right, you've got, as, as you can see, they've got like little green lights here now, so you can tell when the doors are open if you're not colorblind. Barracks right here. Hammer that open. This is your little area where you can sleep. Um, this is Norton, my teddy bear. My mum gave it to me when I was like in her womb still. That's my bed right there. It's my little TV right here. Extra backpack rooms. The sh Um, I'm not sure what you're doing here besides thing to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can do anything in here. You can't turn the taps on. Maybe just role play having a p in here or something. I don't know what else you can do in here, to be fair. More storage over here, though, by your bed. Look at this. Oh, God. All right, slick armor are plenty, guys. Never press this. It's a fire alarm, all right? Everyone will know where your bunker is. You don't want that. As you can see, you haven't got as much room in the, the armory as you used to for guns on the wall and stuff. So you're really going to want to open this door right here, too. Got a little bit here and then that. From what we've seen from the developers, there's a ton of storage on the walls in there. So for all you hoarders, uh, you're going to need to open this room right here if you want to keep all your collections, all right? Oh, they've given me one of the new guns that I've never used. Oh, an AK Alpha. Let me try and mag palm with this baby right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so fluid. If I knew where the load and AK properly. <laughs> Everything seems a lot sharper. Look at look how quickly you can put stuff on the wall now. You can put it from far away too. Look at that. Whoop, whoop. There's no like glitching in and out now. It's just, that's really smooth. Oh, beautiful. Johnny Wicks appreciates that. A dab for the developers right there. A good thing they've added... off with this backpack. A good thing they've added, guys, um, that I, I've been wanting for quite a while because I'm pretty clumsy with my hands. So you come in here, you pick up, like, a Glock, for example, which looks a lot... Oh, they've changed the, the Glock 17. It's now completely black. Oh, God, there's bullets in it. For instance, say you think you put your gun in your holster, you accidentally drop it on the floor right there. Then you're like, oh, I'm going to go to the market because I forgot to load my guns with some shit. All right, mate, you're still not open. Suck on it then. Go back to the safe house, you're like, oh, where did my Glock go? I must have dropped it. It's not there on the floor anymore. But they finally added something that if you don't put it in the save area, you drop it on the floor, it doesn't just delete from existence and go to another dimension. If you go over here to the trade room, boom, it's right here. Look, Glock 17 and a gas can because I obviously didn't save that properly. It comes right back here. So if you drop stuff, don't worry anymore, guys. It'll go straight to your trade little conveyor belt area right there. Let's put this in the right spot. Here we go. Also, they've added a new save system. So if you do crash while you're in the um, the safe house with gear on, it'll recover it for you, basically. I don't think it is in raid, but in the safe house anyway, if you crash, um, all your gear is saved, luckily. 
It's my grenade throws for you right there, baby. Look at that. It's what I do in my spare time. Bounce balls off my walls. Look at that. Uh, they've reintroduced purple key cards. I think that's what you need to be able to get into these new rooms here. The ones that got red lights on them right there. So you can find them in raid. Also, the orange key cards um, now unlock special extract points. So we'll do that in another video. If you like this video, make sure to like the video. Johnny Wicks has got your back in Ghosts of Dabor. If you want some more tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Peace out. Go kill some Timmies.